رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما A question that is often asked What is the role of niyyah in fasting? And is it a must for me to have suhoor or the pre-dawn meal? First of all, as for the niyyah, there is a difference between fard fasting and voluntary fasting. In fard fasting, it is a pillar that you have the intention for fasting before the break of dawn. Because the Prophet says والسلام, in an authentic hadith, whoever does not intend to fast at night time, then there is no fast valid for him. And this is regarding the fard fasting, which means that if tomorrow is Ramadan and I do not intend to fast it, at night and the dawn breaks and then I intend to fast, the fast is invalid. Now, what do you mean by intent to fast? Should I say, no way to an asum tomorrow? I intend to fast. Should I verbally say it? No. Intention is in the heart. When I want to go and answer the call of nature, do I, before moving, say, mm, I intend to go to the toilet to have 101 or 201? No, I don't have to say this. If there's an apple in front of me, should I say to myself, I intend to reach out to the apple and eat it? Of course not. This is insane. Then what is meant by the word intention? The word intention is something in your heart. You intend to do it, you do it. That's it. When it's fasting, your pre-dawn meal is an intention. Wanting to fast tomorrow before you go to bed, or at least before the adhan breaks, maybe you go to bed not intending, but seconds before the break of dawn, the adhan of fajr, you intend to fast, this is valid. Do I have to do this every single night of Ramadan? No. Ramadan is connected, continuous. So what your intention the first day of Ramadan suffices the whole of the month. You don't have to intend it every single night unless you break. What do you mean? I fasted for a whole week, intending it on the first night. On the eighth day, I traveled, so I broke my fast for a couple of nights. Then I went back. I have to initiate a new intention for tomorrow. If I did not, then the fast is invalid because of the lack of intention. A woman has her menses for seven days. She saw her purity, she took, she took ghusl. She must intend from night that tomorrow she's fasting. Otherwise, this is invalid and so on. Now, is the pre-dawn meal a must? The answer is no. Meaning that if I walk while intending to fast tomorrow, I woke seconds before the adhan. And as I was getting out of bed, the adhan was called. So should I continue to fast? Or this doesn't count? Of course, you have to fast. But I didn't eat, no problem. I didn't drink, it has not, no impact. The fast is valid. It is highly recommended that you have a pre-dawn meal, as it's the sunnah. And even if you don't want to eat, at least you have to drink a glass of water. Again, this is the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ. But if, he, if for one reason or the other, you fail to do this, your fast is intact.